everyone, and welcome to Real Women, Real Purpose Talk Show, live in the On Purpose Woman Global Community Facebook group. I'm Catherine Yarbrough, and your host today. I'm one of the two hosts of the Real Women, Real Purpose Talk Show, a co-leader in the On Purpose Woman Global Community, and the creator of the Manifesting Clients Academy. And today I am here with Anne Coverdale, and we're going to be talking about tools for truly living. You know, before I tell folks about you, Anne, I'm also aware that in Facebook, you go by Anne Margaret, and I forgot to ask you about that. Which do you prefer? I like Anne Margaret. That's my fun name. It's my middle name, actually. But growing up, I never used Margaret. And I've embraced the fun of it. Um, Ann Coverdale is just too serious. <laughs> so I like Ann Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So folks, if you get confused like I have, you'll know that Ann has two names, her fun <laughs> name. Anne Margaret and her serious name, Anne Coverdale. So don't be confused. Just know that she is a woman of many talents. How's that sound, Anne? That sounds great. Okay, good. All right. Anne is a writer and a wholeness coach. She is the creator of Truly Living LLC. She teaches tools for truly living that include energetic processes, verbal processing, guided journal, journaling, and communion with nature. She loves nature. If you're her Facebook friend, you're going to see nature pictures and visit nature places. It's great. She helps folks connect with their core nature. Wow, isn't that interesting? Core nature and nature. I hadn't put those two things together until just now so that we can find the power in truly living. That all sounds super good. Now, I've known Anne for a few years. She is a sweetheart. I think you're going to love her. I'm really looking forward to hearing, uh, hearing about what she has to say and her wisdom. Are you ready, Anne? I'm ready. Okay. You talk about truly living. Your business is called Truly Living. You wanted to tell us about tools for truly living. What do you mean by truly living? Well, I started uh, the business Truly Living after several years of working at uh, jobs that were just draining for me. Um, and I started for my own journey, getting out in nature more, paddle boarding, hiking, exploring around here in Middle Tennessee. And that being in nature helped me connect with my own vitality again, my own passion and interests. And so I always reach to nature and pull that in when I do my guided journaling, when I do intuitive body process, I believe we're always connected to nature. Sometimes we lose that awareness, but as I was um, just going on my own journey, I began the words truly living to sum up the essence of the life that I desire, right? Um, mm. Instead of losing that vitality, I wanted to reignite the vitality and, and be, the energy of truly living and the invitation of truly living to others. So that's where the name came from. Well, I just think this is great for a couple of reasons. One is I think that there's a lot of people who are either usually stuck in offices mm -hmm. and not connected to nature, not connected to their core, not connected to that feeling of being really alive, that vitality that you're talking about. And you've been there. You've been there and you've started, you've, you've come out of that. And what would you, is that true? Am I speaking? Yeah, for you? yeah that is true. Uh -huh. So what do you, do you think there's a lot of people out there who are stuck in non-vibrant living <laughs> and could uh, use you sure sure yeah i think we just get busy and run down or at least i was very busy and run down and uh somebody asked me one time what are your hobbies and i was just drew a blank i'm like oh my goodness i've spent so long 
not doing my hobbies and things I enjoy that I've kind of forgotten what they are. So if you, if somebody out there feels kind of stuck and just the heaviness of, of not being in touch with their, with their core nature, like this, like there's got to be something more, right? Um, and maybe they need a starting point on how to move out of that space. That's what the tools for truly living are. They're just tools um, to help somebody move um, out of a heavy place to a place that's more expanded and lighter. So. So it's not necessarily, when you work with people, it's not necessarily about getting out in nature, though that might be right for some people, but the overall intention is to what you just described, get out from that heavy place. Right, right. Nature is the inspiration, the starting point. Like people can relate to um, like the feel of a cool, refreshing breeze, right? Mm -hmm. Or um, the magic of a firefly. So um, I use nature photos. I, when I'm out exploring nature, and I encourage people to do this if they can or if they enjoy it, when you're out exploring nature, take photos and then use those photos later as writing prompts. And as you're, as we're writing and um, remembering with all our senses, what it was like to be in that space, um, that writing exercise is one that I like to use because it helps connect me with my body and all my senses and bring me into the present moment. Like I've done lots of, meditation and yoga and things and they all have value and are helpful but for me the chatter in my mind was just seemed like it was going and going and it was difficult to get to the place they, that I'd heard of where there was quiet mind so that's when I began the journaling and sometimes writing down all those busy busy thoughts but trying to get past that, creating tools for myself, which were nature photos, connecting to my senses, um, getting into my body and being in the present moment. And as I, yeah, so as I did that, I've, I've created a collection of poetry, which I recently published a book called Tree Wisdom and Other Poems. So if somebody's curious about what is she talking about what kind of things does she write? Some of it's on my Facebook page, but there's also a book of my of my poems and my writing you could you could easily get a hold of on Amazon. Hmm. So what I appreciate about what you're saying is even if someone is outside sometimes, they could still not be truly living. Sure. If they're you know, I got to run, I got to go for my walk, I got to go to this, and I'm going to listen to this recording or on this phone call or whatever. You know, it's not, that's not what you're talking about. You're really talking about something about connecting back to our roots, if you will, of be beings who live on this planet, like the fireflies, right. like the trees, right? Is it, is that true? Yes, yes. So what if, right, what if you can sit still and connect with just your beingness, right? Not the doingness and the busyness, but the beingness, like we, we're in each an infinite being and we have a body and we rest in the universe. That's how I like to say it. And yeah, and just in being, what if that's, you know, perfect and complete, right? What if we, I mean, we really, you don't have to move one inch from where you are to be perfect and complete. It's not about doing a bunch of work. And it's all things that many teachers have taught. These are just my tools that I've put together while I've been reading and learning from others, right? It's the things I found that worked for me to connect with the moment yeah, and to be present. So, Anne, I know you're going to take us on a guided meditation in just a minute, right? Yes. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. 
I love being guided. Is there anything, any other, you've named some of the tools, maybe they're all the tools. Did I get it right that the nature photos, the being in the present are tools, connecting to your senses are mm -hmm. tools. Are there others that you want to name before we go into the guided meditation or would it be better to just do that? Well, the guided meditation, um, there's all kinds of different, I, I could just call it a nature meditation maybe, but I also do use a tool called the remote intuitive body process. Um, that's one of the one-on-one -on -one tools that I offer. And so this is sort of an ad adaptation of that so that in a group setting, um, you can have a, a taste of what a, a remote intuitive body process is. What's the purpose of a remote intuitive body process? The purpose is very similar to um, being in nature is to be present in the, get in the present moment, to quiet the mind, um, connect with your body and to trust your, like your own intuition that exists within your own body. So don't believe anything I say or take my word for it, you know, ask questions, connect with your own body. What does your own body know? What awareness does your body have that it's sharing with you um same thing that if we're busy and running around we miss out on yeah i'm ready I, <laughs> i'm ready for this okay guide me guide us ann <laughs> okay all right you're ready okay we're just gonna start um if unless you're driving in the car or something you can close your eyes if you feel like it uh, you don't have to but uh, i'll go ahead and close my eyes and then take a few deep breaths. I have my hands resting on my in my lap. And take a couple couple more breaths. Just notice how it feels in your belly when you're breathing, or how your chest and shoulders move up and down as you're breathing. And to help connect with the body in the remote intuitive body process, we might place one hand on our heart and one hand on our belly. And that just brings us back to our body and out of our mind, the mind chatter so much. And if this were an individual session, I would ask each person, you know, to, for their, what's your intention for this, this meditation or this process? But since we're in a group today and I'm sharing the intuitive body process, the intention we're setting is to be more um, present in our body and to receive awareness from our body. So, calling ourselves back from all places and all time into this present moment, being grateful to our body for communicating with us. And you may not have thought of it that way before, but our bodies are always sharing information or awareness with us. And sometimes that shows up as discomfort, right? Or different feelings. So as you're breathing, just notice in your body if there's any tension, any heaviness, discomfort, aches, or pain, where might that be in your body? Or maybe it's a tingling or you know, a sensation I haven't mentioned. And instead of immediately trying to make that stop, if you sit with that, sit with that feeling in your body and just receive it and say, thank you body for sharing this with me. And if we can approach it with curiosity and gratitude, then we might be able to shift it 
you might be able to understand what it is an invitation to. And that may not make any sense. So I'll give an example. Last week I was very frustrated and agitated after just a rough, rough week of um, just stress from things going on in the world these days. And I asked myself, what is this an invitation to? And I couldn't come up with anything right away. And later on, I realized it was the frustration was actually an invitation for tears, which isn't what I was asking for. And yet the tears were the release that was beyond words, really. I didn't have to analyze all the stress or anxiety to move it out of my body. I just had to sit with it and allow some tears to flow. So sometimes our body has a message for us. It's not what we're looking for. It shows up in a way we don't expect. Okay, so wherever that tension might be for you, maybe it's in the jaw and the tension of grinding the teeth in the jaw. All right, we're just going to take a deep breath and ask your body to allow that to release. Let it dissolve down, fall off down to the earth. Ask the earth to receive it, dissolve it, let it evaporate out to the universe, out to the sky. As we're doing this release, I'm gonna put one hand on the top of my head. Drawing the energy up from the bottoms of your feet, feeling that connection with the earth, whether you're sitting or standing, allowing that healing energy of the earth to flow through your feet, your ankles, and up your, up your calves, through your knees and on up your legs. Energy can flow up through your torso and your shoulders. You feel your neck relax, your jaw relaxing. And the energy can flow out your arms, out the top of your head, so that a more healthy energy flow exists in the body instead of a stuckness or that results in a heaviness. And this is one example, you mentioned the healing nature of trees, right? You can always ask the trees to contribute to your healing as well. They have wonderful energy and they pull from the earth and release up to the sky. And they're more than willing to contribute to our healing. Just as we breathe out and they breathe in, they give us oxygen for breathing. We gift and receive with the trees all the time. And we just don't think about it. We're not always aware of it. So what contribution to the earth can you be just by being? And what contribution is the earth to you? Constantly without even um, noticing. All right, so. One other thing I like to do with the intuitive body process towards the end is to call in the energy that we would like to create in our lives, what we would like to add to our future. And so more awareness, more ease with awareness. What if having more ease with our body and more awareness of our body could bring more joy and bring laughter and fun into our life? Wouldn't that be great? So let's 
Um, imagine that fun, invite that fun and laughter and joy into our lives. Be willing to receive it into our body. And this is where an image of dancing light, the light dancing on the water and shimmering lightly, floating from spot to spot on the water, blinking on and off, dazzling the dance of the light on the water, the dance of the fireflies at night. Just the fun and um, joy of life. So we'll take a few more breaths and then we'll open our eyes. All right, well, thank you so much for allowing me to facilitate you in a nature meditation or intuitive body process. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> I can imagine just in my own personal experience for 10 minutes that that is a very powerful process for your clients that oh, things open up for them. Is that true? Yes, it is a powerful process and you can learn to use it in your own life for yourself, right? It's not, um, yeah, it's not, I am facilitate and teach, but we each have the magic and the knowing and, and the, the energy in ourselves already, so. Hmm. I appreciate that. Um, and so when you work with people in private sessions, what's the intention of that work? Are you just wanting to teach them this sort of thing so they can go off and do it themselves? Or is your intention to facilitate a process with them for, and then work with them over time? Yeah, so usually a session would be 45 minutes. Um, and we would, I would recommend a series of sessions because the process um, doesn't just end after 45 minutes. You'll find we would set an intention during the beginning of the session. And you might find that um, things come to your awareness during that week that you're like, oh, that's what we were talking about in during the intuitive body process session. And things start to open up and, and expand in your life in unexpected ways. So we would regroup in the next week and see how your week went, um, any benefits that you saw or any challenges that you had and set a new attention for the next week and work together for, I would recommend, you know, at least four sessions so that we get things flowing better. Mm. Yeah, and if somebody's interested in learning how to do intuitive body process, that's not something I'm teaching at this time other than simple things like, if you're overwhelmed, you can put your hand on your heart and you can connect back to your body very quickly, you know? Is this, is this a, someone else's process or your thing that came to you? I was certified in it, remote intuitive body process by Tara McCallum. And she um, is teaching the actual process in a class. Yeah. Is it something, is the way you're doing it with bringing nature unique to you or is that part of the whole thing? That's unique to me. Mm -hmm. That's my personal addition. Mm -hmm. I love that addition. I really found that just that 10 minute experience, very powerful. I'm going to say a little bit about that. But I before we do that, will you let listeners and people who are watching us on Facebook Live know about 
how to connect with you and what to do if they want to take this experience deeper? Sure, sure. Um, if you go to my website, which is trulylivingllc.com, there's a contact page where you can send me your name and email address and let me know if you're interested in doing some guided journaling or if you're interested in intuitive body process, I'd be happy to connect and work with you. Also have a page on my website for the Healing Writers Group. I just finished the first initial seven weeks. I am probably going to consolidate that into a workbook for folks who might be interested into with the workbook format and going to now start a new um, seven week um, schedule with weekly meditations and weekly guided journaling. And I find that if we, we kind of group it into four to seven weeks, it makes a nice package, nice flow to work. Does that help? Does that help people with truly living? Is that your intention behind the journaling process that you're guiding people through? Yeah, it's my intention that as you become more connected to your body and to nature, to the present moment, you'll become more connected to your own awareness. Um, that the, the verbal facilitation involves asking a lot of questions and staying curious and helping people move out of conclusion and limitation so that they can discover for themselves what it is that they are interested in creating or um, interested in sharing through writing, right? It's, it's oh. yeah, just help people get past any stuck places that they might be in their journey. It could be applied to, um, to any area of life, really. It could be applied, I've applied it to my business. I've applied it to my personal life with relationships. So, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, so just a reminder to folks, go to trulylivingllc.com, right, Anne? That's it. And yeah, and then reach out to Anne if you want to try one of these uh, intuitive body process ex experiences or do sign up for four sessions, just reach out to her. She's got this uh, group for write healing for writers or writing healing or whatever. And so that's a subscription opportunity, right? It's something yeah. like $20, $30 a month. $30 a month for the Healing Writers community. So it's a... And you get all of those prompts, those regular six-week things. Is that part of that? That's part of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So folks, check that out. I, I want to just take an, a couple of minutes to share this powerful experience I just had with you, Anne. Would you want me to do that? Yes, please. Okay, so what the the overall experience, just from the conversation and the guided journey meditation, is an invitation to be different inside of myself. To, to the invitation of truly living has awoken within me. I mean, I've, for years, I wanted to be fully alive, which is similar. There's a similar thing to that. And I don't mean to put it in quotes as if that's something wrong. Being fully alive is pretty darn awesome. It, but your, your soft and subtle approach brought me into the present moment. Your invitation to connect with the trees. And let me tell you, I talk to trees on a regular basis. And I feel very connected to them, but I had never really connected to them where I felt their, felt them like this. I felt their roots going, the way you describe it, the roots going down and the, them reaching up. And it's like, I know them differently now. I, and I can feel their aliveness. And that's an image that I can imagine that if I worked with you and I was seeking to experience more of that, that state of truly living mm -hmm. that I could work with it 
and and open up to it more because I feel like just by that I'm I get it the trees are inviting me they're inviting us all the time like like I get that all of this is out there is always inviting us to to truly to be truly alive to truly live to to be this and that we've covered it all over with all of our technology our busyness and all of that so like thank you you're welcome you have yeah yeah so I can just imagine the gift that you bring, I so want you to really focus on supporting busy women who are stuck in cubicles. I just think you would be such a gift to them. So we'll talk about that later, because you know me, I want to support everybody in making the difference they're here to make if that, you know, my image, my vision for you may be different than yours. So, and, um, but I also wanted to say, uh, you just pulled out these two amazing visualizations, because when I go to the ocean, the other thing, I mean, and I love hanging out in the ocean and I love it in the morning when the sun's coming up on the East Coast because the, you know, 10, 11 or so, because of the way the sun shines on, on the water and it dances uh, with the water. And that's one of my most favorite experiences. I just couldn't believe that you pulled that out of the hat. And <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. It's is there anything else you want to share with our viewers, listeners, before we wrap this up? The one thing I would say about the writing group is that you don't, if you don't think you're a writer, that's okay. Like, I didn't used to call myself a writer when I was first started writing. And then finally, I started using that term for myself. And now, you know, um, I'm inviting others to write, but it's not that you have to be polished or trained or educated in writing at all. It's just that you show up and you're willing to put words on paper or to speak them into your phone and let it transcribe them for you, right? But to somehow express yourself um, in a way you maybe haven't before. So if you um, feel like you've lost your voice, and um, you're looking for a way to reclaim your voice, that would be one example of, of the Healing Writers Group. It, you don't have to be an awesome quote unquote writer. So I'd be glad to have uh, people join me, It'd be fun. It's really about healing, it sounds like, mm -hmm. more than about being some amazing writer. Right. At first, at least. Mm -hmm. So, and people can get your book on your website, I assume. Yeah. Okay, Truly Living, Truly Living LLC. Go check that out. If you're watching this in the group, I encourage you to comment and share your experience with the meditation or with listening to Anne and anything that she's shared today. Tell us your thoughts and your experiences. And um, thank you, Anne. This was just wonderful. I really am so glad you said yes to doing this with me. Yeah, thank you. I enjoyed it. So friends, thanks. Thank everyone. I'm thanking all of you who are joining, uh, uh, joining us today for this Real Women, Real Purpose talk show. The thing I love about this talk show and the ones that I'm doing and which, who, the interviews that Jenny's doing is that we are real regular people. I mean, you can see that Em and I are just regular people. We're nobody famous. We're no, we may be someday. I don't know. But we're real people, we're real women with real purposes and we're talking. And this, the Real Women, Real Purpose talk show is live in the On Purpose Woman Global Community. And tomorrow, Jenny Robertson is interviewing Safi Lynn. And Safi is, is, is another beautiful woman. You're gonna want to watch her. She, the topic they're gonna be talking about is music as medicine or music is medicine. And for a list of all of the July and August Real Women, Real Purpose talk show topics, go to the On Purpose Woman magazine, onpurposewomanmagazine.com. And you'll, if you open up the current issue, you'll find a list of all of these talk shows. If you love this interview and want to share it with your friends, you're going to find a replay of it in the On Purpose Woman Global Community YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, type in On Purpose Woman Global Community and subscribe so you get the notification of 
this interview and listen, listen again to that wonderful meditation with Anne and share it with your friends. And if you subscribe, you'll get notified about it when it comes up because I'm going to post it up there in the next 24 to 48 hours. Oh, my friends, thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'll be back on Wednesday and I'll be interviewing Sharona Futerman. Thanks again, Anne. I will see y'all all next time. Bye.